Cool. So according to this talk sport article here, uh, Frank Warren has come out saying that he wants to. He, Frank Warren comes out saying he wants to target putting Daniel Dubois in a position to be mandatory challenger to the likes of Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder in 2020. So I'm guessing Frank Warren is looking to just get Daniel Dubois ranked in this ranked in maybe each sanctioning body. That's I think that's what I can see Frank Warren probably doing. Uh, Dubois is taking on Fujimoto. I think it's Kayotaro Fujimoto on uh, this Saturday. Fujimoto, I haven't checked his resume. He's he's ranked 13th. He's a Japanese fighter. Ranked 13th in the WBA. So I suspect if Dubois can just spark this guy out and get him out of there, uh, Dubois will probably find himself ranked in the WBA rankings. Uh, above him, above Daniel Dubois in the rankings, he would have fighters like Kuzmin, Hunter, Povetkin, Ortiz... Uh, Trevor Bryan, uh, so to name it, just a few fighters that I've haven't haven't been. I'm quite familiar with the WBA ranking, so I think this is a good move by uh, Frank Warren because he's. He sh- I, I, I think the way he's being managed, he's been managed the traditional way. He's not being rushed like too quickly because at this position that Dubois is currently in, uh, with a 13 and 0 record, Joshua was fighting. I, I think I think Joshua was moving quite quickly, so I I think they're trying to take Dubois the traditional route, just taking his time, building up his resume, going through the rankings, taking on a Fujimoto. Who I just I I, I know Dubois gonna knock out Fujimoto. Let's just put it that way. The guys, Fuji Dubois got 78 78 inch reach. He's got 78. He's got 78 reach. Um, Fujimoto's got 73 reach. Uh, Dubois six foot five, Fujimoto six foot. So uh, it's all the dynamics and all the quarters, and Dubois got the power as well. Having knocked out guys like Tete, knocked out Latte, knocked out Nathan Gorman, he's had some good wins. I think it's a good year for Dubois twenty nineteen. So I, I I just feel like Fujimoto is he's obviously he's going to come to fight. It's heavyweight boxing, but Fujimoto is going to get knocked out. Let's just put it that way. So. Yeah, man. I just want to see. It would be interesting to see how Frank Warren manages Dubois in 2020. Who will Dubois fight? Because I don't want to see Dubois fighting guys like Tete and Latte and none of these like fringe contenders anymore. I want to see Dubois fighting at least guys like Serge, Sergey Kuzmin. I want to see him fighting guys like. Um, I don't mind seeing him fight Joe Joyce in a British dust up. So yeah, um, it's up to Frank Warren. Frank Warren's obviously his manager, so. We can say whatever we want about who we want Dubois to fight. They will, their their team will decide what is best for Daniel Dubois. Because we don't want to rush him. Because um, that is something that was done, like, done with Anthony Joshua. He was quite rushed into being a world champion. And once you fight a top guy, let's say let's say Dubois fights like a um, an Ortiz, for example, and knocks out Ortiz. Dubois can't go fighting no more journeyman after knocking out Ortiz. People going to want to see him in the big fights, the big time. So I think it's a good way to just manage him at the moment. Uh, I, I rank Dubois as one of the biggest biggest um, young talents in heavyweight boxing. Um, there's other young talents, obviously, like uh, FA Jagba, currently fighting in the US. He's a talent as well. I think he's fighting on the Tony Harrison Charlo undercard. I think he's fighting, is it Kildazi? He's fighting some guy, Iago Kildazi. I think he's fighting, fighting that guy. So I, I'm going to go, I'm going to watch that fight as well. Because I think Daniel Dubois and F.A. Jagba are two young heavyweights right now that I think are quite dangerous. That can cause a lot of fighters a lot of problems. So, so good year for Daniel Dubois thus far. Uh, I would say thus far because he still has to beat Fujimoto, obviously. But um, looking forward to seeing what Daniel Dubois is going to do in 2020, man. Uh, obviously, here he's holding the British title. Hopefully, we're going to see him fighting bigger guys. Uh, in 2020, like, as, like I said before, maybe other higher ranked guys in the WBA, and hopefully he can also put his foothold in maybe other sanctioning bodies as well. And uh, interesting, it would be interesting to see him maybe fight a Joe Joyce in a British dust up as well. But yeah, so drop your comments in the comment section below. How do you, who do you want to see Daniel Dubois fight in 2020? Um, how do you think he would go if he does? How do you think he'll go in a fight, maybe with AJ, Anthony Joshua, or Deontay Wilder, maybe in the future? Or as I mentioned, FA Jagba as well. How do you think Dubois would fare against a Jagba himself, which could be a good clash of young heavyweight talents, which I don't I suspect will not happen. But if it did happen, how do you think that would go? 
So drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me hear from you guys. Cool.